Good afternoon, everyone. Forrest Benson from the Thrust Institute of Maintenance. Today, we're here to talk about why becoming an aircraft mechanic could be the best career decision you ever make. Currently, the Bureau of Labor and Statistics forecasts that approximately 13,000 mechanics are going to be required each and every year for the next decade in order to replace some of the attrition. When I went to renew my inspection authorization just a couple months ago, I was surrounded by a group of people that the average age was over 70 years old. I was the only person, as a matter of fact, a full gray head of hair so presents kind of a challenge for the industry because we have a lot of retiring mechanics or that are close to retirement matter of fact the average age of an aircraft mechanic in this country is pushing about 57 years old what does this mean for you what does this mean for the future it means if you're looking at becoming an aircraft mechanic now you're going to very quickly move up the ranks of seniority in any company you are in one of the best reasons i could recommend becoming an aircraft mechanic is for the pay involved in this industry. I'll be honest, my first job was right out of school making $16 an hour. It doesn't sound like a lot in today's day and age. The kids that are going to school now are coming out and starting at an average of $35 to $37 an hour. Matter of fact, here at Thrust Flight, we're actually coming in above the national average on that one. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics, the medium annual wage for an aircraft mechanic is $72,000 right now. In the course of my career, I've seen average wages more than double for the typical aircraft mechanic, particularly at the airline level. If we were to take a look at most major airlines, day one pay is starting out at $100,000 a year. And those guys are topping out on a regular 40-hour work week at $160,000 to $170,000 a year. With the airlines beginning to compensate their people like this, it is causing a huge vacuum on the other ends of the industry, in general aviation, in the charter world as well. And this is causing wages to rapidly rise as well. The potential for somebody getting into this now, I cannot state this strongly enough, is stronger than somebody going to university right now. Think about your average computer engineer. They might go to a four-year school, have $100,000, $150,000 in student loans, find Financing their education and at the end of it all they're competing with the rest of the world and increasingly AI for jobs meanwhile as an aircraft mechanic you're coming out of school day one after only a 10 month program and making on average 65 70 thousand years starting year one and this is what I can't emphasize strongly enough is that pay continues to increase even in general aviation after about three years of experience working in the field you can obtain your inspection authorization the day you have your IA the going rate goes up to over fifty dollars an hour or about a hundred grand a year for those working in the field and that's something you can do all the way through our training program here at Thrust and your three years of working in the field to IA in the same time frame that that guy is going to school for his computer engineering degree. So this might leave you wondering, what makes a person the perfect candidate to become an airframe and power plant mechanic? And it's really a wide reaching question because yes, personality does play a part of it. You've got to have a little bit of a fun loving attitude towards life. You got to be able to take jokes, to roll with the punches. But at the end of the day, I have seen so many people from so many different walks of life make really good aircraft mechanics. They tend to share a couple skills in common. Number one is they have a very good aptitude for figuring out how things go together, right? You can look, for example, at a puzzle and see the pieces and go, this one goes here, this one goes here, and can figure out how to solve it relatively rapidly. The other group of folks that tend to do very well are those that are good with details, that have very good attention to detail, can read directions and make their way through stuff because the majority of aircraft have very large maintenance manuals that go with them with detailed instruction. You can follow those steps 
by step by step. Thrust Institute of Maintenance has a wonderful blog you can follow along with. It's put together by our director, John Dillenberg, and he likes putting up a lot of good pertinent information about changes in the industry, how our program looks, and updates with the school. Make sure to go ahead and follow along. Make sure to give us a call if you got any questions about our program. Thanks a lot for tuning in, guys, and we'll talk to you soon.